It's <laughs> perfect. I reckon this is the best fur that I've had. This is vegan. What a time to be alive. <laughs> hey everyone! I've been in Hanoi now for three weeks and the vegetarian food here is so good, as is the case in the other areas I've been to in Vietnam. So Vietnam has a high proportion of Buddhist residents and so many of them are vegetarian. On top of that, a lot of people do opt to eat vegetarian here on the first and 15th day of the lunar calendar. So that means heaps of demand, therefore heaps of good vegetarian places. So I'm going to, in this video, take you to my three favorites. These are the ones that have really stood out to me in my time in Hanoi. So I'm gonna go back to all of them to show you around and so I can share some of the amazing food I've got here. It's called Che Foods. It's in the old quarter. It's a really cute little building. out on the balcony it's such a beautiful place the view from here is really lovely the service is so nice that guy was really sweet he talked me through the whole menu and made some recommendations so I'm always happy to go with what's recommended so I'm getting some spring roll in there Bun Ryu I think that's the pronunciation he said it was their specialty so. I got an elderflower tea and spring rolls to start. These look so beautiful. And there's a peanut dipping sauce and it's all vegan here as well, which I absolutely love. So no dairy or egg in anything. Those are like rice paper rolls. so good they're like crunchy and you can taste all those veggies in there the, and all the herbs through there all those Vietnamese herbs makes it so like fresh and zingy and amazing and the dipping sauce is so good it's like satay I've just got my Bon Rieu um, I think from what I was reading online this is often like a crab dish obviously if it's not at a vegan place I haven't actually had one so I'm very excited for it you can see all those tofu puffs like a vegan egg, you assume it's like scrambled tofu and some chili to add to it. What an amazing spread. I can't wait to try this, it smells amazing. Kind of seafoody and like tomato-y almost, so just try some of the broth. I'll try not to burn my mouth because I get too excited to try these kind of soups and then they're always very hot. Oh my God, it's like, rich has like a real dark flavor oh my god you can taste the tomato like it's like savory and rich it's mushroomy tomatoey seafoody like it's crazy with all these flavors that it's all vegan like there's no seafood no dairy anything in here i'm really keen to try this egg look at how good that looks like scrambled tofu i guess mmm it's good it's got that like eggy texture and this has like tofu puffs in it I don't know if you can see it steaming, it's really hot. Mm. Oh my god, they're perfect. And the way they've like soaked in that flavor of the broth. So great, I love tofu for that. This little like mushrooms in here, like little spring mushrooms. Mmm, they've got a meaty texture, that's really good. Oh, and this like, I assume these are like vegan fish cakes, which I guess you'd normally have the meat versions. Hmm. Wow. That's kind of like spongy and chewy. That's great. I mean, I've never had like a fish cake, so I assume this is what the flavor is, but kind of fishy, kind of sausagey texture. So good. There's all these noodles. The noodles are red. I'm not sure if there's like a different, is there a different kind of flour or something, or if they're flavored, I don't know. Mmm. Man, that is good. I'm gonna add all those herbs. And probably a bit of chili, because I'm getting more brave the more time I spend in Vietnam, the more likely I am to add chili to stuff. So, I'm gonna do that, and this is amazing. Mmm. Oh. 
I'm all done. That was so delicious. Honestly, after that, I feel like so full and satiated, but you just know like it was healthy. I just feel like it was good for me. The amount of food and the quality of food that I just ate. So definitely recommend this place. Um, it's definitely on the pricier side of things, um, but I did get an entree and a main and a drink. So, um, but it is a pretty nice place. So I feel like it's worth it. In Australian dollars, it's still pretty cheap. So yeah, it's nice. It's a nice little lunch. Very nice. This is one of my all-time favorite places to eat in Hanoi. They've got an awesome vegan menu and vegetarian menu as well as some meat options. So let's go in because I cannot wait to get a fur for lunch. Perfect. Perfect. Hello, hello, are you open? Yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes, okay. okay, thank you. Okay, see This is their menu and they've got a huge vegetarian menu at the bottom and I've tried most of the things but I'm gonna get the fur today because it's so cold outside. It's definitely comfort food weather. Mm -hmm. Oh yes thank you. This looks so good. I'm just getting lime and chili. I love this place. I think one of the many reasons other than the food um, is how lovely the owner is. She's so sweet. So I love coming here and seeing her. She's so welcoming and friendly and kind. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah, very spicy. Okay, I'll be brave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. How good does this look? You can see the steam coming off it. There's all chunks of like vegan meat in here. Look at that. Like vegan barbecue pork. All the herbs and noodles. Yeah, I've got some chili and lime, but oh my god, it smells amazing, looks amazing. salty and sweet. I feel like this, the fur might be sweeter up here than it is in Ho Chi Minh City. Oh my god, kind of mushroomy but it's got so much flavour. It's like fragrant. There's a mouth like herbs in there, the coriander. So, oh my god, that's so good. I'm gonna try some meat. It looks like maybe the best fake meat that I've been served anywhere. I've had a lot of fake meat. But you can see it's all like charred at the bottom. Just out of this world. It tastes like chard, like meat, and it's kind of stringy like it as well. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, that's perfect. I reckon this is the best fur that I've had. I've been here a few times to be honest. I think it's my fourth or fifth time here. Everything I've had is so good. This is a, just a place that you need to come if you're in Hanoi. Service is lovely. This is so nice. The food's reliable and good. So happy here. So good. Almost finished this, but look at all of these sesame seeds and garlic and bits in there. Like it's just so jam packed with flavor. Finished it. Mostly, there's a little bit left, but it was massive. It was so full of meat, like all the way through it. So, all warm and full and happy. So, I'm just gonna pay and we'll go. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> so lovely. I always leave there smiling. I love it. People are so friendly here. I really love Vietnam. Barn Me Vegan. There's another shop called Vegan Barn Me that's a few blocks away. It's not too bad. I think this place is better. So I'll put the details below, but honestly, like, cannot recommend it enough. Stuff here are so lovely. I want to show some of the new, but I 
Parker Pass with Bonnie. It's all like toasted and crispy and cheesy. <laughs> I don't know, it's too much. You're out of mock meat in there. Oh my god, the bread here is the best thing there for sure. This is the best bread I've had in the night. So nice. Well, our own world. <laughs> There's got a vegan pate in there as well. You can see that. It's kind of peanutty. Like salty. Oh, this is vegan. What a time to be alive. <laughs> that bar me was exceptional, and everything I've had from that place was mind blowing. I had the Buntron last night. Excuse my pronunciation. But yeah, that's the best bar me I've had in Hanoi. So cannot recommend that place enough if you're in the area. And if you're vegan or even just veg curious, it's great. Bread's good, fake meat's good, it's all good. on my little food tour of Hanoi. I hope you enjoyed getting a little taste of the vegetarian and vegan food in this amazing city. If you liked my video, please like it below and it would mean the world to me if you'd subscribe to my channel as well. Otherwise, I will see you on my next video. Bye.